the narcissist knows they're exploiting you. Narcissists are not stupid. They know exactly what they're doing. And they already know that they're exploiting you just by being around you. They already know that they don't belong there. This is why they're so covert. They hide themselves. Because if you were to see the real them, you would run a mile. So they give you a false character. They manipulate you. All the while they know they're not deserving of you. They know that you are out of their league. That's why they're drawn to you. They're not drawn to people who aren't about anything. They want to be around the best of the best. People who make stuff happen. And that is why they targeted you. Because you're about something. You have power. But as you've probably already witnessed. They're not skilled or experienced enough to deal with you. They just manipulated you into a relationship. They strung you along. They sold you a dream. While knowing that they could never make it a reality. While knowing that they didn't even have the means. And that is why the relationship moves to the devaluation phase so quickly. Where they're underestimating your worth and importance. And they're putting you down. Or they're treating you as though you're beneath their consideration. Because they already know that the opposite is true. They know that you're too good for them. They know that you could run circles around them. They know you could outperform them by a great margin. So then it's just all about managing your perception of them. And promising you something in the future while they're already making their exit plan. Because they already know that even if they try to accomplish something. You wouldn't be satisfied with the results. They depend on the manipulation so strongly. Because that's all they've really got. As I've said before, the best you will ever get from a narcissist is the illusion. And when you're pressing them for something else or something more. All they can do is distract you or divert your attention. Because they already know that they're out of their heads. They know that what they're doing is very strange and foolish. They've put themselves in a situation where they're extracting so much value from you. But they could never reciprocate any of that back to you. Because they've depended on their manipulation their entire lives. Where they're intended to mislead and cheat people. And they're prone to behave in an untrustworthy and fraudulent way. Where they're unjustifiably claiming or being credited with. Particular accomplishments or qualities where they haven't even done anything to earn it. They've never attained or achieved anything in their lives. And yet they have this arrogance and sense of entitlement as though they have a right to something. They have this belief that they are inherently deserving of privileges and special treatment. As though what you're doing for them is morally good, justified or acceptable. When at some point you've just got to take a step back. And ask yourself what have they ever done for you. That makes them so deserving of what you're giving to them. Because if you look back you will realise that you've done far more for them. And that your life would probably be far greater and easier without them. Because they act as a hindrance to your progress and success. They provide resistance, delay and obstruction to you. They're not improving your life in any shape or form. If anything they're just holding you back from being a better version of yourself. Because you're giving your power away to them. You're giving them the ability to define you and make decisions for you. But they're not doing anything for you in return. They're just a leech 
a freeloader, a bottom feeder, the lowest of the low, a person of the lowest status because they're sponging on you. They're feeding from you. They're taking advantage of your generosity without giving anything in return. But many of you make the mistake. You assume that they're not reciprocating for a reason. As though you need to be better and you need to do more for them. When in fact it's because they're incompetent and ineffective. They know that even if they tried to accomplish anything you wouldn't be satisfied with the result. Because it wouldn't measure up to even a fraction of what you've been doing for them. So if they did one thing for you, you'd just be looking for the next thing. You'd be expecting something more. Which is why the only thing they can do in this situation is to not give you anything at all. And instead switch it around and act as though you owe them. Or as though something is wrong with you or you're not good enough. Which is why they never acknowledge who you are or what you've done for them. All the while they're feeding from you. They never compliment or praise you. Because otherwise you would instantly realise that you're making a big mistake by being around them in the first place. Because they're a liability. They're putting you at a disadvantage. Because you're dealing with a failure, a loser, a low life. Someone who just talks but doesn't do anything for real. Which is why the last thing they want is for you to start estimating their value or importance. Because then you would leave, which is not what they want. Because they need you far more than you need them. They just tricked you into believing that you need to depend on them. By exaggerating their worth and importance while acting like you're nothing special. All the while they're taking whatever they can get from you. Which is how they're already fully aware that they're exploiting you. That's why they hide it. It's why they invalidate you. And it's why they leave you and then triangulate you with someone else. To confuse you and make you question yourself. And this is also the reason for the smear campaign. It's all just to make you doubt yourself and your abilities. When you've probably done far more for them than anyone did in their entire lives. You've done more for them than they could ever do for themselves. And yet they're getting you to question your worth. Which just shows you how fake they really are. Because it's either that or they're completely delusional. But even after they've drained you of everything you have. And given you nothing back in return. And they've started a smear campaign against you. Sometimes they will still try to come back. And they'll pose as though they are separate from it. Or as though they don't know anything about it. Because they're still not satisfied with the result. They're hungry. They're wanting more. So they see this tactic as a way for them to get in and gain more from you. But even if you decide to leave them first. Or you reject their hoover attempts. That's when you will see just how crazy and dysfunctional they really are. Because it will trigger their core abandonment wounds. And it will trigger their abandonment anxiety. Even though they never seemed to care about you while they were with you. They never talked to you. It's like you didn't even exist. As long as they were getting what they wanted from you. But even then they could never be satisfied. They always wanted something else or something more. But this is all just a disguise. They're not playing with a full deck. Because what they're really afraid of is having to go it alone without you. Because they don't believe that they can make it on their own. They're heavily emotionally dependent on you to regulate their emotions. They have this obsessive attachment to you. And just the thought of you moving on with the person that you are. And where you're able to start again. 
it really kills them inside because they already know that you're going to live a much better life without them they already know that they're garbage they already know that they're no good for you and that's often the only reason why they're even there because they know their presence imposes a hindrance on your life they know that by default all they can do is weigh you down they know they're not going to be any good for you just look at their lives before you got involved with them their lives are in shambles they're falling apart you're like the only hope that they have left and that's the only reason why they're with you because they have nowhere else to go there may not be anyone else who wants them so they're constantly coming around you and taking up your time because they've got nothing else to do with theirs their time is not valuable and yet they're coming around you with no intention of building anything and then we wonder why our lives are falling apart because we have a leech a bottom feeder the lowest of the low which is why they're so controlling because they're very insecure they already know that they're not worth anything so it's all about managing your perceptions of yourself and of them it's about minimizing your worth and accomplishments while exaggerating theirs it's about brainwashing and indoctrinating you and making you believe things that are not true so that you continue to keep them around even while they're not serving you even while your life is deteriorating and becoming progressively worse but even though their mere presence is enough to burn something to the ground they will desperately try to hold on to you they will place financial hooks in you or they will take things from you when it's just a desperate attempt to form an attachment to make you think that you need them or as though you should value them when even then they're still just doing it for themselves they're still just doing it to get something out of you but even then they're still not satisfied it still isn't enough to complete them because they lack empathy so they never fully attach to you they can never fully experience you as a person all they get is the crumbs they only get bits and pieces of you which is not really what they want because they want to consume every inch of you they want to become one with you and they want you to become one with them where there is no difference or separation where the two of you are indistinguishable because deep down they despise themselves they want no part of who they are they want to own you they want you to be an extension of them so that they can live vicariously through you and how you see the world because that's far more fulfilling for them but even if they did have you and they could fully attach to you you would get bored you would realize that there's nothing interesting or unique about them you would realize that they're just a carbon copy of you and then they would end up mistreating you and running off to someone else or you would likely get rid of them once you discover what you're dealing with because these people are the scum of the earth they're completely undesirable they're the worst type of people to be around and that is why they're so obsessed with you because you're like a lifeline for them you're someone they depend on someone who provides them with the means of escape but they're no good for you they're not even real people they're missing the key components of what makes us human beings which is why they're so needy and desperate they will do anything to hold on to you without ever actually connecting to you or bringing anything of equal value or exchange to you you will always get the short end of the stick because they feel inferior to you they believe that life is unfair to them they feel like if they could just be you and live your life then everything would be okay so they try to take bits and pieces of you 
they take up your time and the energy which is contradictory it doesn't fit their narrative because if you really dislike someone enough to devalue or discard them you would probably want things to resolve very quickly you wouldn't want to be around them yet instead they will use every trick in the book to keep you along for the ride with them misleading you and stringing you along they use denial, projection, blame shift and gaslight and even the double binds. Whatever it takes. Because they're just a desperate person who doesn't want to let you go. Which is why they will drain you and take things from you. To keep you holding on to them for as long as possible. Or they will even put you in a situation. Where you've had to borrow something for them. Or they will leave things in your car or at your home. Or they will falsely accuse you of something. But all of these attempts to manipulate, control and gaslight you only reveal one thing. They do not want to let you go. They need to communicate with you. They need your attention and validation. They need bits and pieces of you. Which is why they can never let you know your worth. They can't even give you a thank you or merely acknowledge your existence because they typically hate and envy the very people they're trying to emulate. In their minds it's unfair. They think they're more deserving of being you or having what you have. They always have some reason or excuse. But they actually need you far more than you ever needed them. And in fact, you never needed them. You would have been in a much better situation without them. And they know this. It's like you were taking care of an unruly child who couldn't meet their own emotional needs. Because they never had those needs met when they were children. So now you come around and they appoint you to this parental role. And so you're supposed to take care of them. Because they actually believe that it gives them power and control. When in fact the opposite is true. It makes them feel very insecure. To where they become very bitter and resentful towards you. And it actually disempowers them. It causes them to become less powerful and confident. They assume confidence and a feeling of being in control of their lives by controlling you. When it just makes them even more insecure. Because while they think they have power and authority over you, who has authority over them? Who has the power to give them orders or enforce their obedience, since they're not even doing that for themselves? Which is how they're living a life with no purpose or direction. They have no mastery. They have no comprehensive knowledge, skill or accomplishment. There is nothing that makes them superior. It's all there in their mind. They're just sponging off other people. And it has a very damaging effect on them. It disables them. It renders them powerless. It makes them ineffective. And it's because of this belief that they have. Of them not being enough on their own. Because if they believed they were enough. They wouldn't need you. Or they would at least find a way to reciprocate something of equal value back to you. But they can't. Because they're insufficient. They're inadequate. And even when they start a smear campaign against you, this belief just spreads. It becomes widespread. Because it's contagious. And it indoctrinates people into denying themselves of their true power. Which is the power to stand alone and to be self-sufficient. Whenever you see a group of people who aren't achieving or accomplishing anything productive and they're just picking on an individual target, it's because they believe they're not enough. That's why there's so many of them. Because they don't believe they're good enough on their own. But they believe that more people means more power. When in fact it just puts them at an even bigger disadvantage. 
because all they have is more idiots, more fools, more people of low intelligence. Which is why even when they're targeting you and they're isolating you, it just gives you the opportunity to blow them out of the water and further reinforce their feelings of inadequacy, which only makes them even more obsessed and addicted because the last thing they're ever going to do is look at themselves for the answer. They already believe that they're not enough. So why would they ever do that? They believe that whatever they're missing or deficient in is within you. So they hold on to you. As though you're this messiah, this leader or savior of their group or cause. When at the same time they never listen to you or take your advice. It's like they're completely blind to their own actions. Because they lack self-awareness, they can't see the forest for the trees. They fail to understand or appreciate a large situation or problem because they're only considering a few parts of it. And that is why they're eternally doomed. Accountability is the key to our success which is why we tend to discipline our children. Because we know that a lack of accountability and discipline will not lead them anywhere good. And it's the same thing for these narcissists. They will hold on to their flying monkeys and enablers for as long as they can, but it will always get them in the end. They have no empathy or compassion for other people, including the very people they use using to attack you. Because if they even cared about their own people, they would never use them to do their bidding. They would recognize that they're just tearing communities apart. They're subjecting and exposing them to unnatural situations where they resort to manipulation and gaslighting. Because something is eating away at them. They're very miserable. And this isn't something that just took place with you. It's not something that happened overnight. They were already that way to begin with. They just knew how to hide it and pretend to be normal. But they find these groups because they feel like they're not enough on their own. That's what it comes down to. They feel inadequate and defective. They feel insecure and then looking outside of themselves for tools to feel superior and all powerful. Which just ends up being a breeding ground for narcissism and even psychopathy to where people are just doing anything they can to feel like they are enough. They're more than enough. When they're never actually doing anything productive, they're just feeding off their target. Which just nurtures their narcissism even more because it's encouraging every trait of MPD in the DSM-5. And this isn't just in smear campaigns or gang stalking. This is something that's being pushed on the youth through television and movies, social media and dating apps. People are being encouraged to present a false version of themselves to evoke attention and admiration so that they can feed off other people which in the end only ends up disempowering themselves. Narcissism is not empowerment. It's disempowerment. It only leads to destruction. It may momentarily give them the opportunity to influence other people's behavior in the course of events. But what about their behavior? What about their future? Where is that going to lead them? If they've already assumed that their power comes from controlling people outside of them, which is why narcissists typically end up lonely and miserable, they're dissatisfied with their lives. They never find what they're looking for. It's as though they're just waiting for someone to save them.
but no one ever does because narcissism typically attracts other narcissists so they're surrounded by people who are just like them and their target wants nothing to do with them and it's just a very lonely existence because they can't generate their power or energy from within they end up chasing after a target who doesn't even want them someone who doesn't even know that they exist and yet they know everything that there is to know about them when their target is just going in the opposite direction they're just trying to get away but narcissists are so insecure that they will often end up deluding themselves into thinking that their target wants them and that's when they get obsessed they become stalkers because you're like their lifeline after everything has been destroyed you're like the only thing they have left Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.